The New England Patriots select kicker Justin Warwasser with their fifth round number 159, that pick, in day three of the NFL Draft. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar and Mike Petralia. Well, the Patriots get their kicker. It's just not any of the ones we thought it would be. Warwasser is out of Marshall, although he originally played for the University of Rhode Island. So two schools where he got experience kicking in the bad weather. Yeah, so clutch kicker here, Sierra, 14 for 14 in his career in the fourth quarter in overtime. The big kick that will start surfacing around uh, the Patriots' Twitter sphere will be the 53-yarder against Western Kentucky. In the rain, in bad conditions, Rohrwasser drills the kick to win the game at the end of the fourth quarter. So I think that this the clutchness of Rohrwasser really stood out, I'm sure, to the Patriots. The other thing is that they did squeeze in the Marshall Pro Day before the COVID-19 pandemic really took Hold and before social distancing really took hold. So they were probably able to see him up close, whereas some of these other guys didn't have the luxury of having the pro day. So you might not be able to see it. And he was apparently nails at the pro day as well. So just a, a kicker that they probably really liked for the bad weather and the clutchness of him as well. He seems to have the right attitude towards kicking and also the fact that they got to see him up close at his pro day. You know, I think that we talked about this uh, earlier when we were talking about kickers, Evan. Um, we were talking about how good uh, can a kicker be between 40 and 49 yards? Uh, because if you're going to be playing a lot of close games, you want somebody who is reliable in that very critical distance. And it, uh, he has been, uh, he was 9 of 10 from 40 or more yards just last season and 79 of 82 in PATs over his two years at Marshall. Those are indications that uh, he can get it done on a consistent level at the next, uh, at the next level. And this fifth round seems to be the sweet spot for Bill Belichick and the Patriots to draft specialists. We've talked Jake Bailey, Matthew Slater, all going in the fifth round. Why do the Patriots tend to go this route year after year? Well, I think the biggest reason why is that when you look at the analytics of the situation, the fifth, sixth, and seventh round all have the same likelihood of a pick, of a pick planning out at the NFL level. So it makes the fifth round the least valuable round in the NFL draft because it's the same as a seventh round pick. So basically with the fifth round, you can get a specialist at this point of the draft and you're not giving up any value of, you know, oh, we pass on this skill player, we pass on that positional player because really you're going to get the same level of prospect in the sixth or the seventh as you did in the fifth. What I really want to know, guys, is how uh, big of a leg does he have on kickoffs? Because I think that could also uh, be something to take into consideration. And uh, if they indeed saw uh, him kick off at the Marshall Pro Day before uh, the quarantine went into full effect, uh, then that probably also gave them a uh, comfort feeling about drafting him. And Evan, you mentioned this uh, when we were on earlier, uh, the fact that he's 6'3", 230 pounds. Yeah, do not put it past uh, Bill Belichick to use him in some other situation uh, outside the box. Yeah, I, I don't know how good of an athlete he is at six feet 230, but I mentioned Josh Uche's name. Uche is 6'1", 245, so we're not that far off with uh, Oral Wasser here. I think the biggest thing, too, about his pro day, he was Marshall's kickoff specialist. And one thing that they asked him to do at his pro day was kick it right to the goal line every single time, and apparently he was very good at that, of actually putting, not just booming it out of the back of the end zone, but actually kicking it right to the goal line. And we know, as the Patriots love to yep. do that with all their their coverage specialists out there. They're able to really win field position battles by landing the ball inside the five-yard line, forcing a return, and then allowing Matthew Slater and Jonathan Jones and Terrence Brooks and all those guys to get down there. And instead of taking the ball at the 25, maybe you only take the ball at the 19 or the 20-yard line. And every single inch in a game, it all adds up to field position. I think the kickoff uh, is a bigger deal maybe even uh, than his ability to uh, come through in the clutch uh, with the field goals. I, it, it is that important to Bill Belichick to be able to uh, really dictate field position from kickoffs. Absolutely. Yeah. All the rest of our in-depth Patriots draft coverage, head to our website at clnsmedia.com and check out our YouTube channels at Patriots Press Pass and CLNS Media.